we thought we'd put together a little episode going back into the archives, uh, looking back to, goodness, 2019. Uh, my, what? Not my first. I don't think it was my first Site Village. Maybe it what was. You, you, you're a young man. I was a young Sprightly, full of energy. Ah, oh, beautiful. Not not that much. I mean, to be honest, when, okay. I, when I watched back the clips, I, <laughs> I actually kind of hoped I was going to see a very different Stephen Scott. Um, mm. It felt like exactly the same. Miserable, <laughs> overweight, fed up. Pretty much all of the same. So no, not much has changed in all Don't those years. Don't go changing. Uh, no chance. I'm not even going to please myself, <laughs> never mind you. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be going back to uh, speak to Liam from Bristol Braille Canute because, of course, it was there uh, that I first got my hands on with the Bristol Braille Canute 360, which I keep calling the uh, the Braille Kindle because it's a multi... Yeah, well, one of the first, they don't actually. like that. No, they don't seem to like that. But it was the first yeah. multi-line Braille display I'd ever seen. Um Really interesting device. We get a chance to catch up. And, and if you've never seen this device or heard about it, you'll be able to learn about it today from that conversation.